this is Faraz Bhatti from Electronic Junkies and we'll be doing a tutorial on Arduino and the SRF02 ultrasonic sensor. This ultrasonic sensor is used to measure distance of an object and it is based on a protocol called I2C. I2C stands for Inter-Integrated Circuit and this is a two-wire protocol. The two wires are SCA and SCL. The SCA wire is for the data transmission and the SCL wire is to keep the clock synchronous with the master. The master in our case is Arduino and the slave is obviously the SRF02. I2C protocol can handle up to 255 devices if you're using 8-bit uh, addressing but sadly Arduino uses the 7-bit addressing and uh, so you can only support up to 1 to 8 devices. Let's wire up the sensor and uh, connect it to the Arduino. The A5 and A4 pins on the Arduino are the analog pins as you can see but they are also used for the I2C protocol. So there are the I2C, SDA and SCL pins respectively. Now as the sensor is connected, we'll download the Arduino IDE. This is basically for the people who are doing this for the first time. Uh, I'll just go through a basic install and download. It will prompt you for a couple of drivers. These are the drivers for the Arduino board and you should just install them and they are very secure you should not worry about them at all as soon as the arduino ide is installed we will start coding okay java needs permission to yeah so firstly we include the wire.h this is the library for the i2c protocol now arduino allows a very easy interface to i2c this is because of the because of all the abstraction code that is written for Arduino. So wire.begin is how we start the I2C protocol on the Arduino. Serial begin is for the serial port or the monitor that will allow you to view the values of the ultrasonic sensor. You declare the reading in centimeters variable to zero and it should be a global variable so and then you declare a variable called address and as previously described the Arduino only uses 7-bit addressing the original address for this sensor by default is E0 but since we are using 7-bit addressing this value would be 112 in decimal or 70 in hexadecimal so then we begin the i2c protocol using the wire.begin transmission command to the address we just defined we send a byte to the sensor telling it that we will be needing the data in centimeters and simply then we end the transmission as we go further we need a delay because the data sheet say, says 65 milliseconds so just to be on the safe side we keep it 70 so just the sensor has time to process data then we begin the i2c transmission again so we send another packet and we tell the srf02 that we'll be reading from the register at this address the address is 02 the SRF02 should be ready by this time and then we'll request for two bytes. We'll get the first nibble, so as in four bits the first time and then we'll read a second byte that would give us the second nibble of the data we wanted. We mask the data and we have we should have the whole distance in centimeters. Uh, okay, the code doesn't compile because I am using the concept of printf in C. 
we'll just set it up for Arduino. Arduino doesn't have a printf at this abstraction layer at least. Now I'll show you a trick up my sleeve. So eventually you're gonna go up to big projects and you'll need much more code space. And if you keep writing uh, such code like this spaghetti code, you'll end up confusing yourself. So instead, a simple trick is to create a new tab and uh, copy all the code from the code base and paste it into a function or a method whatever you call it and call the method in the main method that is the loop and you should be good to go this would not only clean up your code but would allow you to call this function multiple times at multiple places consider you are making a robot so it'll need motor drives it'll need uh, encoder readings and whatnot so this would clean up your code and help you write bigger codes so I guess we are done here so we'll upload the code to Arduino now and hope it works uh, it will work obviously and it's uploaded you could see the red LED blinking let's check out the sensor values okay some garbage coming in just because we don't have the baud rate set correctly baud rate is bits per second so that's the concept here this is the setup i have i've had this setup because the ultrasonic waves may reflect off the ground and disturb the readings now let's check the sensor it's coming in and we take it closer see that the values are okay by now but the values go berserk like they go crazy when we go too close the sensor is accurate up to 200 centimeters thank you for watching subscribe comment if you like a tech related tutorial and i'll get to that